Here we're going to look at how we can fold a spinnaker so that it takes up as little space as possible and is quite tidy. And this is so that you can do it on your own, so you don't need any help. So I've laid the spinnaker out here flat on the floor. If there is a bit of wind, you can even use the wind to help get the spinnaker flat by having the foot of the sail into the wind and then the wind will blow the head downwind. So now we're gonna take the clue. We're just gonna bring this over. Having it about, I don't know what that is, maybe just over a meter across there, like this. And then all we're gonna do is wrap it up from the bottom, pulling out some of the creases as we go. Another sail from OS3. Very nice spinnaker. Doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. And now we'll take it over to a flat surface where I have a flat surface pre prepared, which is this small bench. And then this is where the magic's gonna happen. We're just gonna take it and we're gonna do a fairly tight roll. Incidentally, you can also use this technique for packing your tent. Um, as you may be aware, it's never possible to get your tent back into the bag, which it came out of, but you can do it using this technique. And there we go, we've got a nice tight roll. We could either just uh, pop that into its bag or what we'll do here is we'll just use some masking tape. Using masking tape, because it doesn't leave a sticky residue when we take it off. And also it means we can write on it what the sail is because we have got a few of these. We're just putting the tape a bit thicker just so the pen doesn't go through onto the sail. And there we go. Hello, I'm Pirate Sam. Uh, when I'm rigging up my Hobie 16, I like to test the rig tension out using the main sheet. What I'm aiming for is to be able to just get the main sheet block to block with all my strength in one arm. Ah, here we go, let's test it. Okay. If it's really, really easy, that means there's not enough rig tension. Okay. Gotta pull on some more. Do you want me to put my rig tension on? Yes, please, Henry. Spin up. Okay. Let's try again. <coughs> Could still go a little bit more. <laughs> what? <laughs> Feels pretty good now. Perfect rig tension. Here's one for helping you to get back on your boat. This was actually designed by one of our long term customers called Stefan from Germany. And this is on an FX1. So, what we've got is we've got the downhaul rope. This goes for a pulley and then onto a ring that goes onto the trapeze rope. What this means is after a capsize where you'll end up in this kind of position, you can use this rope to pull the trapeze forwards and then use the trapeze to get back onto the boat where otherwise it would be very difficult. This makes it a lot easier. With this also, it means you can get hold of the downhaul a lot easier if you want to trim the downhaul. So, with a shackle, it is quite traditional to tighten a shackle using pliers, like this. But do you want to either get the shackle really tight, or is the shackle too tight uh, to undo? Then, throw the pliers away and pull out an adjustable spanner 
where you get much more leverage and you can get that shackle undone easily. So on the front of your boat, you might have a chain plate like this, which has got many pieces on it, which could snag your spinnaker, potentially putting a hole in. What you can do is take a piece of plastic tube like this, cut a slot in it, and then this can go over all this lot, making it safe for your spinnaker, more streamlined, and it looks sexy.